It's week eight of the NCAA 14 football 2013 season in the Alabama Dynasty Sports Network. The Alabama Crimson Tide, if you don't remember from last episode, moved up to number three after a 31 to 10 win. They are four and one, and today they're gonna play in Arkansas against the three and three Razorbacks. This should be an interesting game. It's another SEC conference game. So we're ready for a fun one. There we go. All right. Bring on the Razorbacks. Alabama is it was a tough crowd. They got us winning. Arkansas should be a pretty good team, but we're going to go take them on. The Alabama Sports Network. Let's just see what uniforms Arkansas has. I'm not going to do normal. I want to do special uniforms if they have them. Ooh. White. I'm probably not going to do white because that would make more sense for an away game. Maybe the red. They're going to do that red one. Where is it? There it is. And then they're going to use their white helmet. And it's 99 overall against an 88 overall. So not too bad of a matchup as the Alabama Crimson Tide go on their first road game in a while. Here on the Alabama Sports Network. It's going to be the 4-1 and one Crimson Tide taking on the 3-3 three and three Razorbacks in... Arkansas Stadium, I do not know the name. We are about to figure out. As we are gonna go look at some team stats. Arkansas's defense, that's not very good. And Alabama's offense is not great, but it's fair it's pretty good. Pretty close in offense actually. And then defense, though, Alabama, first in rushing yards allowed per game, ninth in passing, first in yards, and first in points, only allowing 12 points. Alabama with a stifling defense. The top player, the kicker for Arkansas, apparently is the highest overall player on their team. Lance Thompson up to 99 overall. Nine touchdowns, no, only one interception this year, I think. Because we're going to go to Arkansas Stadium. It's the 4-1 and one Crimson Tide against the 3-3 three and three Razorbacks. Alabama's second in the SEC West um, to LSU because LSU is 3-1 and one in conference play. Alabama, as we know, is 2-1. and one. Texas A&M, though, they've been dropping. They've lost two games now. They were undefeated when we played them. They were actually 4-0 oh when we played them. All right, we are here. It's not Bryant Denny Stadium, but it's pretty big here in D.W. Reynolds Razorback Stadium here in the state of Arkansas. It's a fairly large stadium, but it's nothing compared to what we have over in Alabama. Here is the Alabama Crimson Tide wearing their whiteout uniforms. For not maybe only the, this might be only be their second road game of the year, as Arkansas is going to win the toss and they're going to defer. So Arkansas is going to kick off, and we are underway. Taking the back of the end zone for the touchback. Tyree Moss coming off a great game, 16 carries, 115 yards, and the rushing touchdown. But stepping up is Arkansas's quarterback. It's going to take us a couple plays to remember his name. He's going to drop back the throw. And this is going to be caught for a gain of four. Oh, wait. I forgot. This is Alabama with the ball. 
So Arkansas's quarterback, we're gonna have to wait till they have the ball for us to figure out what their quarterback's name is. But Thompson's gonna hand it off to Moss. Moss has a first down already picking up where he left off last week against Kentucky. Alabama already at the 39 yard line. Davis, he had a pretty good game last week in motion. It's another handoff to Moss, and it's another solid six yard gain. It's gonna be second and four. After number one Clemson lost and number two Louisville lost in the same week, number three, what used to be number three Michigan is number one. What used to be number four Oklahoma is now number two, and now Alabama is number three. They were number five. Back to throw now Thompson, and it's dropped by Moss. I think if a hit knocked it out, it's going to be third and four at the 45 yard line. Back to throw is Thompson. Taking his time, he looks, and it's caught by Davis. It's a first down for the tied 15 yards, and another Bama first down. Good route running there, and it's going to be caught and taken down at the 40 yard line. Looks like another pass. It's hard to tell though in that formation. Back to throw is Thompson. He throws and it's gonna be incomplete. Davis cannot hold on to it. And that's two dropped passes on this drive alone. In motion. There's the handoff. There's the first down. No, he gets stopped on third and one. Third and one for the Tide. And they're going to try to get it on the ground, and they do. He needed one yard, he got two, and it's going to be another first down for the Tide. This is not the quick striking offense we're used to from the Tide last week in Kentucky, against Kentucky. They had 28 points at halftime, but they only had one touchdown. It might have been 31 to 10. Now here's a handoff to Walker, and he's going to lower the shoulder for a good run, 14 yards. And just like that, Alabama is now in the red zone. We've seen that formation before. It should be a throw. Yes, it is. This is going to be caught by Davis, short of the first down. It's going to be second and two from the six-yard line. A 10-play drive, 66 yards. Back to throw again. He's going to roll out, and he's going to get sacked. Eight yards, so now they're back where they were on first and ten. It's third and ten. Kevin Brown, the sack. Good play by the Arkansas D-line there. So now it's going to be third and ten from the 14-yard line. They need to get to the four. Arkansas only four rushers. A lot of safeties, and the linebackers are a little bit are pretty deep. Back to throw. It's going to be caught, but he can't fight to the first down. So Alabama's going to have to settle for three. Out for the kick now, number 43. If they make it, it'll be a 3 nothing game. The kick is up, and it is good. 3 nothing tied as we have our first studio update of the day. LS, number 10 LSU would be huge for Bama if they lost because then they would go to the SEC championship if they could keep it ahead. But right now, Alabama, even though their rank in the country is higher than LSU, based off what ESPN thinks, LSU would go to the SEC championship and take on Missouri if the season were to end like this now. And Alabama, they want a rematch with Missouri after what happened in week two, that one loss of the season. 
that cost them being number one. Arkansas's defense, Alabama started driving, but they did a good job standing strong, not letting them get any farther than the five yard line. And now it's gonna be a handoff and it's gonna go nowhere, losing a yard. It's Jimmy Clark, the running back, losing the yard. Brandon Howell, we've said his name a couple times this year, on the tackle. It's gonna be second and 11 from the 24 yard line. Back to throw now. And this pass is gonna be caught Short of the first down, Williams with the reception. Jesse Williams with the catch. And Arkansas's quarterback is Brian Hill. Hill in the backfield. It's going to be a handoff. It's a first down for the Razorbacks. Up to about the 42-yard line. LSU does score again on Ole Miss. Looks like another handoff. Back to throw. Hill. Throws. Caught. It's going to be seven yards in second and three. Michael Stevens with a catch. Handoff. First down. Inside the 50 at the 44 yard line. End of the first quarter, it's a low-scoring game. 3 nothing tied. Arkansas hanging in there. Arkansas at the 44-yard line. As we start the second quarter, going to the ground again. And Alabama cannot stop. Their run defense is the best in the country. And it's getting pieced apart by Clark right now. 20 rushing yards in only the first quarter. On track for what might be an 100 yard game. Back to throw, caught. Gonna be brought down after a five yard gain. It's gonna be second and five. Brian Hill, he's not doing the deep ball the way Thompson does with Lawson. As it is three of three for 20 yards. You can go back to throw on second and five. And now he might take off with it. And now he's going to throw, and it's going to almost be intercepted, but there is a flag on the play. Holding on the offense, so it's going to make it second and 15. So they're moving back 10 yards. Almost intercepted, couldn't hang on, but the holding will move him back 10 yards and possibly out of field goal range if they throw two incomplete passes or a bad run followed by a bad pass. Back to throw. Looking, caught, third and five. Now they are back in field goal range though, after a 10 yard gain. Another long drive. Alabama is going to want to get this stop. Alabama's looking for pass. Arkansas might be handing it off. Back to throw. Has the first down. Dave McAmara. As now Arkansas's turn to be inside the red zone. They're at the 18 yard line. Back to throw, Hill, gonna be caught. Turns the corner short of the first down and he fumbled the ball, but it was out of bounds. A lucky break there as the ball goes out of bounds. So second and four. Second and four from the 11 yard line. The Razorbacks trying to take the lead against Alabama. Alabama's not the best starter they could ask for. And now he's going to keep just running through tackles. Could have been a loss of three. He's going to go for two yards now. 
could have easily been a lot worse of a play. A very long drive for the Razorbacks and what it might be one of the most boring games of the year. And he gets another first down on third down, four yards. And now Arkansas within striking distance now at the six yard line. This is where Alabama choked up though, last drive. They could be up seven nothing, but they choked inside the 10. Will Arkansas do the same? Oh, he's gonna get popped. What a hit, let's look at that one again. And it's only going to be a one-yard run. Second and goal from the five now. Handing it off. And it's going to be another stuffed run. Jimmy Clark is going nowhere. Now it's third and goal. Butler, who's probably the best defender on the Alabama defense. There on the stop, Marvin Butler. Arkansas showing signs of a run. Back to throw. And it's going to be a sack. So it's going to have to be a kick for three for the Razorbacks. Great job by the defense for Alabama. So, so far, both teams have had one possession. Both teams have gone inside the 10, and both teams have choked it and had to settle for a field goal. Pretty easy kick. And the 93 overall kicker, we have to remember, too, the highest overall on this Arkansas team. And they're letting the clock go a little bit. I think they're trying to give Alabama no chance to score because they get the ball after halftime. It's going to be one of these things where they run it to two seconds. And the kick is up, and it's good. So we are tied at three, a minute 20 left in the first half. Arkansas to kick it off now. Over the back of the end zone for a touchback. The offense have been getting yards but not scoring. Three to three. As Lance Thompson takes his squad onto the field for the second time. Maybe a touchdown for the Tide as they're back out on the field. He's going to throw. It's going to be caught by Moss for a six-yard gain. Second down and four from the 30-yard line, 31-yard line. It's going to be a handoff short of the first down. It's going to be third down and two now. to throw Thompson. It's going to be caught, and he's going to be short. But does Alabama go for it on fourth and very short? They're not. Oh, they're going to punt. And now Arkansas with 45 seconds to score before halftime, too. Alabama has a really good punter, though. It's going to be hard. If, it's going to be a very slight chance of him getting bad field position. And the punt's going to be caught at the 20. Stiff arms a guy, and he's going to be brought down at the 30 two yard line 33 38 seconds to play in the half two timeouts for the Razorbacks do they try to get it they have a lot of receivers on the field dropping back taking his time and it's going to be caught but I don't think he had the first down and they do give him a first a little bit of a questionable call Brian Hill, not many passing yards, not many passing attempts, but a completion percentage of 100. As it's going to be Hill again. Throws it deep, and it's almost intercepted, dropped by the defender. Hit his hands and then fell out. He almost bobbled it, too. But it's second and ten now. An empty backfield. Taking his time, he chucks it. 
This one also dropped. The defenders cannot get their hands on the ball. They can get their hands on the ball, but they can't hold on to the ball. Two plays in a row, Alabama could have a pick and possibly have the ball before halftime with a chance to take the lead. And twice they've dropped it. Is he's going to throw it again. And this time it is caught. That's three dangerous throws in a row. And now he's still going. Inside the 50, the 40, and down at the 34-yard line. That was three throws in a row from Hill. He went from 100% completion percentage down to three straight possible interceptions. Two were dropped, but this one was caught. And now Alabama with 11 seconds to go in the half. And he just took it back inside field goal range, too. I think they have time for maybe one or two plays, depending on how quick they go. Because they have all three timeouts. They're going to use one right here, and I think now I think if you're Alabama, you're going to send your field goal unit onto the field before half. Yes, the field goal does come. This will make it 6-3 at halftime if it is good. And the kick is up, and it's in the uprights. So Alabama leading 6-3 most likely at halftime. So a slow scoring game, but a lot of yards have been gained and we already have a turnover. Three seconds left, Arkansas does get the ball. Do they need it or do they air it out? And only three receivers, two receivers on the field. They're just gonna run out the clock and he actually breaks free, but it's gonna be lit up. So 6-3 at halftime. We'll take it over to the studio for our halftime report. So, so far we've had two field goals for Alabama, a field goal for Arkansas, an interception for Alabama, and that's pretty much it. Only 87 yards gained for Alabama and only 98 for Arkansas. The scoreboard doesn't show it, but I think Arkansas has been actually playing a better football game than the Tide at halftime here. But you never know what will happen. It's only a field goal separating the two teams, and Arkansas does get the ball. We're going to take it to the second half. Here to kick it off. And it's going to be caught in the back of the end zone. Need for a touchback. Alabama's only allowing four yards per play, a sack and an interception, and only allowing 98 yards and only three points in the first half as we come out start the second half. It's 6-3 in Arkansas. Brian Hill back to throw. He's going to throw, and it's going to be caught first down. Our Razorbacks, Jesse Williams, 19 yards and a first down already. Blown coverage there. Number 10 was blitzing. Number 19 was going deep. And by then it was too late. It was a cornerback blitz on a go route, pretty much. That's not going to work for the defense for the Tide. Now back to throw again. Caught again. And it's Williams again. The throwing game is starting to develop a little bit for the Razorbacks here in the second half. Now it is a handoff. He's going to turn the corner, and he's going to get maybe seven, six yards on the play. The 
It was a it was an option play. He had the chance to lateral, but he did not on the option play. And now it's going to bring it third and three. So the few Alabama fans in Arkansas are going to start cheering. Back to throw. Taking his time. Has a man for the first down. He runs over one and then gets hit by another at the 24-yard line. Looks like handoff. It is. Up the middle. Three yards. Second and seven. A very high scoring game going on for TCU and Oklahoma State. It's 45 to 21. And the third quarter is not even over. LSU is destroying a little mess. Back to throw. It's going to be caught. First down, and he's going to get to the end zone. Touchdown, Arkansas. And Arkansas has the lead. A great play there. And this is going to make it 10 to 6. As now Alabama is losing. The Razorbacks might pull off the upset. A great run. He turned the corner, broke a couple tackles, and took it to the house. And now Alabama needs to score a touchdown if they want that lead back. Not a field goal. A field goal, they'll still be down by one. As now Arkansas is the dominant team. More plays, more first downs, more yards. Arkansas, what was expected to be destroyed, just like every team that plays Alabama, is actually winning by four. But we're not even done. We're only halfway through the third quarter. Thompson play action. Caught first down. Danny Tyler, he had a big game last week. Only his first catch of the game today. Back to throw. Caught. First down. It's Bauer. Also only his first catch, and he had like nine of them last week. As now Alabama's starting to run the check down kind of play, the not the deep ball like they did last week. They're just doing the little short throws. And it is working as it's going to be another first down. How did he get that? He dove forward as he was falling. Got the first down. Some games, especially in the Big 12, Oklahoma State and TCU are shootouts. This is a defensive standoff as Tyree Moss is going to get stuffed for however many runs he has because he six carries for only 30 yards. The run game for Bama not working, but the passing game is what's moving the ball for him. As he's going to go back to throw it again. Thompson, deep ball caught. Touchdown tied. 40 yards, and it's Danny Tyler, number seven, with the reception. And Alabama, just like that, has the lead back. No one was near him. Three guys in pursuit. A perfect throw. No one near him after the catch. Touchdown, Alabama. And the kick is good. It's 13-10. Addison, it's 10 o'clock. Good kick there. And he's going to need it. And now Alabama, they're starting. The yards are very close. The points show Alabama the better team, but plays and yards wise and first downs, it's still the Razorbacks. As now it was. It was it's been a shootout in the second half so far, I can tell you that. One thing, Alabama, their weapons been the passing game. It's been the run game for Arkansas. He's going to throw caught short of the first down. It's going to be third and inches. Great play. 
to just drill him before he can move, get, even take a step. But it's going to be third and maybe a foot. If not, an inch maybe. So expect the handoff. It's going to be a pass. And he's going to get sacked. And now Arkansas can be forced to punt. I would have ran the ball. It's a foot, an inch even. And now you're not going to have the ball. And you're going to be down by a field goal to an Alabama team who once they start scoring is hard to stop. And a touchdown, it will just be like that. A two-score game if they get the touchdown. Can't get to block the punt. It's a good punt. And he's going to take it back to the 43-yard line. Arkansas still the dominant team in this one so far, yards-wise. But I think Alabama overall has been the better team. Arkansas's hopes are up, but if Alabama scores, it's not going to be good. As now Moss has a good run for the first time today, and it's going to go for five yards. It's only his seventh rushing attempt of the game, but the passing game has been working. Second and five from the 49-yard line. in motion back to throw it's going to be caught Danny Tyler 19 yards he was the man that made the big catch three catches 73 yards he's having another good game another good game and Alabama once again in striking distance And this will take us to the end of the third quarter. 13-10, Alabama leads. We're done with three. So far, it's been anyone's game, but Alabama with a chance to make it a two-score game. Can they do it, or will Arkansas stop them and come back? I think Alabama... Once they start scoring, it's really hard, almost impossible to stop them once they get momentum going. And right now, they are clicking on all cylinders. It's a handoff, and it's going to be seven yards. Back to throw, it's going to be caught, and that's Alabama's 10th first down of the game. It's Lawson, only his third catch of the game. Alabama now at the 14-yard line. An empty backfield. Back to throw, caught, first down, can't get to the end zone though. It's going to be first and goal from maybe the three-yard line, if not the two at the two yard line and now it's going to be the Alabama show the rest of the way I think Al Arkansas you can't stop Alabama once they score the handoff to Moss and he's in it's a two score game touchdown Alabama second touchdown of the game for the tie after the two field goals and this should make it 20 to 10 Arkansas was up 10-6. It's 14 unanswered for Alabama. And now it's 20-10. to 10. Alabama has two pass breakups, one interception, and two sacks. So it's been a good game for Alabama on the defensive side and the offensive side now is 20 points. Alabama averages to allow 12 points a game. So if Arkansas gets a field goal, they play better than average against Alabama's defense. But Arkansas is going to go look for end zone. They have time, four minutes. It was looking to be a really good game, but now Alabama's just been able to get a stop and then score. It's been a pretty, it was, it was a stalemate up until now.
rookie backfield to throw. And he's going to be sacked again. Eight-yard loss. It's the third sack of the game for the Alabama defense. It's Brent Houston. And he got hit pretty hard there, too. Addison, are you going to wake up? Whatever. Oklahoma State actually almost got beat by TCU. They were up by 20. Back to throw, Thompson. And he almost got brought down again. And it's going to go for five yards, and it's going to be a third and long. And at this point, they're going to have to go for it if they don't get this, even on uh, fourth and 13. They need to get to midfield. They're at the 36-yard line. Back to throw. Taking his time. Got hit as he threw it. Almost intercepted, and it's going to be fourth and 13. He got drilled as he threw that ball. And now they're actually going to punt it. And only two minutes and 58 seconds left in this one. Good punt. Caught it to 22. And he's going to be brought down to about the 26. Good job by Arkansas to get there when the ball did. It's going to be pretty much an impossible comeback for Arkansas if Alabama scores. Especially, expect a lot of run plays. So he's going to try to run down the clock, but also put the game on ice. Gets to the 31-yard line. Second and six. It's going to be a handoff. Turns the corner. It's a first down for the tie. And off. First down and more. And now with only a minute 59 left. Alabama looking good. Hands it off again. It's another first down. He has room. The 20. The 10. Brought down at about the four yard line. Arkansas using their last timeout already. Brought down at the three yard line. And it looks like another throw or run. And touchdown tied. And that's going to be pretty much put this one on ice. Well, technically, if you miss it, it's still a two touchdown if you go for two and get it both times game. But if they make the extra point, then they're going to need. A field goal and two touchdowns are just three scores in general, and the extra point is good. 27-10. This game has turned up into a blowout now. It was 13-10 at the start of the fourth quarter. Now we come back to our game where there is a minute and 48 seconds left in a 17-point game. Ignore the scoreboard. That's sometimes a bit of a shut up. Alabama, three sacks and an interception. Now in three pass deflections. Great defensive stand. Arkansas's defense was looking good. It was only 6-3 at halftime, but Alabama three touchdowns in this third, one touchdown in the third, two in the fourth, and they ran away with this one. And now Hill's going to throw, and Jimmy Clark, he's been active today, gets the catch, and now it's hurry up offense, but there's no point. They're going to have to go deep ball if they want a chance. And they're going to spike it. But now that's going to mean it's third down. As our afternoon slate of games continues this, is it ending? He does get the catch, though. First and 10, a minute 24 to go. 
perfect route. He just blew right by the guy. The guy had no chance. He ran forward, he turned. That's just a recipe for a catch. Back to throw. Throwing, caught down the sideline, inside midfield. LSU does take down Ole Miss, so Alabama's gonna keep needing him to lose. But they wanna play in the ACC championship. Good catch on the sideline there. First down inside midfield at the 40. Arkansas, I think they've had the ball more than Alabama has, more plays. But Alabama just scores a lot. And this is going to be caught two yards, though. But they're trying to stop the clock, but there's no point. They need three touchdowns, not two. Maybe if it was two, it would be reasonable. But 17 points, you're not getting it. Minute 10 left. This is where games get boring is when they just run and get out of bounds and this, the clock takes forever to tick down. Back to throw. Hill. Looking end zone touchdown, Arkansas. But how much will it matter? So Arkansas does get the touchdown. This game a little closer than Alabama wanted it to go, but they'll take it to win. And the question is, what happens to Michigan and Oklahoma? As the kick is up and it's through the uprights, 10-point game, a minute to go. If they get the onside, that might stand a chance, but you never know. Here comes the onside kick. Will they get it? Arkansas got the onside kick, I think. Arkansas recovers the onside kick. And they have the ball at the 38, and they need to score a touchdown, and then get another onside kick, and they need to score, like, right now. It's caught. The greatest comeback in college football history it might unfold in front of our faces. Can they keep it going? Brian Hill's been so good. Back to throw. Caught. Short of the first down. They're out of timeouts. They need to run. Hurry up. Even a touchdown and a field goal takes it to overtime. They need to go. They need to score pretty much on this play. They're going to spike it again. Let's get a ring up third and two. Even a field goal here won't be bad because then they can get a touchdown and tie it. Michigan's going to beat Indiana. They did beat Indiana. The throw on third and two. Sacked. He fumbles the ball. And it's going to be fourth and long, and now they're not in field goal range. They're going to review and see if he was down. Yeah, he was down. Yeah, he's down. Going for it. 34 seconds left. Clock is ticking. Fourth and eight. They need to get it. And they get it. They need to hurry, hurry. They need to go, like, right now. Here comes the hurry up. No chance in spiking it. They need to go and score on this play. They do spike it, though. They need to score here, though, and get another onside kick, which is pretty much the odds of that happening. That's like a one-in-a-million comeback if they get this. Back to throw. Passes overthrown. Now it's going to be third and long with 18 seconds now. It does stop the clock. Arkansas 
Arkansas recovered an onside kick, now only down by 10. Back to throw it again. And he's going to get fumbled, and it's recovered by the Tide. That will do it. Alabama is now just a QB kneel away from winning. Second forced turnover of the game. They have been unstoppable on defense today, except for like one drive, maybe two. And now they're going to knee it, and that'll be it, because Arkansas has no way of stopping the clock. Arkansas had a chance, and they blew it. And that'll take us to the end of the game. Alabama wins by 10. 27-17. That was a fun game. Alabama wins a thriller. Tyree Moss, 14 carries, 116 yards. Another 100 rushing yard game. Alabama wins 27-17. And that'll be it for us. Lance Thompson's final stat line. 14 to 16, 169 yards, a touchdown, no interceptions. And next week for the time will be revealed in a moment. Other games around the country. Buffalo takes down UMass. SMU beats Memphis. Pitt beats Old Dominion. And Arizona beats Utah. Brian Hill, a good game. Chad Fowler, three tackles, a tackle for loss, a sack, and a fumble recovery. That is the type of game that you like from a linebacker. And the Tide are now 5-1 and one on a four-game win streak. And next week for the Tide will be Tennessee. That's it for today's episode. We'll see you next time.